Hi, Scholar friends. Welcome back to your literacy videos. Miss Cherney here with your video for Monday, April 27th, 2020. And I thought in celebration of our text, me, Jane, we could play a fun animal warm up. This is one of DePaul's favorite warm ups. So if you're in DePaul, you might remember this. This warm up is called Mouse Face, Lion Face. And your job is to make the correct face when I call out either mouth face or lion face. I'm gonna show you how each of the faces go. Mouse face looks like this. And lion face looks like this. So I'm gonna call out mouse face or lion face and you're gonna make one of those faces. Let's see if I can trick you. Okay, mouse face. Lion face, mouse face, mouse face, mouse face. I tricked some of you. Lion face, mouse face, lion face, mouse face, lion face, mouse, lion, mouse, lion. <gasps> nice job. Hopefully your face is nice and ready. Turn up your listening ears. Nice job, and track me with those laser focused eyes. Nice job, okay. For this video today, you need your printed literacy packet and a pencil or a blank sheet of paper and a pencil. Your literacy packet looks a little bit like this. This picture is not in your packet. This picture is one in my packet that we're gonna use in this video today. So, before we get started, go ahead and refresh your brain with the Me Jane video one more time. You can click on this link if you have the digital packet, or you can type in Me Jane, or you can find Me Jane on our Google Classroom. Just go ahead and rewatch the video, and I'll meet you back here when you're done. Welcome back. Okay, so this illustration we see at one of the um, on one of the beginning pages we see all sorts of details that I once told you what my notices were about this in one of our videos from last week. What do you see in the illustrations on these pages? Write down what you see on these lines. If you need some more time, go ahead and pause the video and write down what you see. If you don't have the lines because you don't have the printed packet, just go ahead and write down in your notebook, I see and go ahead and tell me what you see. Nice, remember, if you need some more time, you can pause the video and meet me back here. So friends, these are Jane Goodall's actual sketches and drawings from when she was a child. So you might notice that these pages look a little bit different than what the illustrator illustrated in the other pages of the book. So then what did you learn about Jane by looking at the author's illustrations and by Jane's own drawings? You're gonna fill in this blank. If you have the printed packet, you can write it down. If you don't have the printed packet, you're gonna shout it at your computer or tablet or phone screen after we read this one time. Jane had to mm, animals and study books about animals to draw so many details and explain facts. Think about that. What did she have to do? She had to study books and mm, animals. There could be more than one answer to this question. I'm gonna give you a hint. An answer that I really love was one of our vocabulary words that we studied last week. It means looking at something really closely. I wonder who can remember what that word is. Shout it out to the computer screen in three, in two, in one. Now, if you didn't get it, that's okay. You can come back to this fill in the blank or you can pause the video and think about what word means to see really closely or to look at something really closely. Here's our next picture. What do you see in the illustration at the end of the book? So this picture. What do you see in this picture? Remember, this picture is in my video, but it's not in your packet. 
because I took this directly from the Me Jane text video. So this is a photo of adult Jane in the jungle with a what? Fill in the blank. What's with her? And if you don't have this printed packet, you can shout it out to your computer screen in three, in two, in one. It's a absolutely. It's her monkey named Jubilee. Now it's different than the other illustrations of Jane. Why? What makes this picture different than the other illustrations or drawings of Jane? Write it down on this line as best you can. And if you don't have the printed packet, you're going to shout it out to thy computer in three, shout it out in two, shout it out in one. It's different. It doesn't look like the rest of the drawings because this is not a drawing. It's a real life photograph. So then my next question is, how do the illustrations and photographs show how Jane made discoveries about animals? These are some fill in the blank questions that I would like you to say aloud if you do not have the printed packet and to fill in the blank with by writing down the best answer with a pencil. So pause the video here and fill in the blank with these words. Nice job. That took a lot of endurance because you had to read all of these yourself. So I'm sending you energy through the computer. Okay, by working hard, Jane was able to achieve her dream of living and working with animals in Africa as displayed on page 35. That's this right here. What do you notice about the illustrations of Jubilee? Okay, so what we're saying is that Jane was able to meet all of her goals, like in this photograph. Here we see Jane and Jubilee. You are thinking about the difference between the illustrations seen right here in this picture and the photograph. So in this question, you're writing what you notice about the illustration, this picture right here. And in this question, you're writing what you notice about the photograph, that is this one. Go ahead and pause the video and take some time right now to write down what you noticed. If you don't have the printed packet, go ahead and write down, I notice on a blank sheet of paper. Excellent work. Before we move on to our shades of meaning activity, I just wanna say that the difference between the illustrations and the picture is that one of them is drawn, just like Jane's sketches in this part of the text. And then this photograph is not drawn. This is an actual picture taken with an actual camera. And it shows the difference between the girl in the drawings who is a character in the story that represents Jane as a little girl and the photograph shows Jane as an actual real life adult with an actual monkey, a monkey in real life. It shows that in real life Jane was able to achieve her goal and her dream. Okay, we're at the very end of the video. This is shades of meaning. We're gonna do some shades of meaning with the word cherish. You might be making a silent connection with me because the word cherish was in one of our activities from last week. Remember, we had to draw a line between the word cherish, to love or appreciate something very much, and a picture. The picture I chose was of Snoopy cherishing the little yellow bird. Remember, we are gonna use this same definition of cherish to fill in these boxes. You are gonna think of other words that mean cherish. I've thought of four for you. Love, adore, care, treasure. Think of three more words that could mean the same as these words. Then 
you're going to put them in order from the least cherished to the strongest cherish. And that's a silly way of saying you're going to order them from the from the least word to the strongest word. So the weakest word to the strongest word. So maybe you might write that the word care goes up here because it's not as strong as the word treasure. There are no right answers to this shades of meaning chart. And these different boxes that are shaded gray show you how at the beginning you're putting the least cherished, so maybe like or care, and then you're working all the way up as the as this gets stronger to the most cherished in this darkest box. So go ahead and take some time right now to think of words that mean the same as cherish and then fill them in the boxes from the least cherished to the strongest cherished. All right, so that's a lot of talking on my part. You've got some work to do, so I am sending you energy through the computer and I will meet you back here for tomorrow's video. Have a really great rest of your day and best of luck with your work.